Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your daily love reading here. Your messages for May 19th, 2021. All right. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel. If you have any Virgo friends, um, definitely let them know that we have a new channel. If you are interested in other Virgo readings and other Zodiac readings, if you're new to my channel here, I am also Moon Pie Tarot on YouTube, and you can go over and check out my videos there on my channel. Um, I do 10-day readings there, okay? And also singles. All right, let's see here. You can also follow me on Instagram house of virgo the link will be under this video in the description box okay now i'm going to do the mosaic spread here to see what your messages are all right let's see five of wands queen of swords that's you virgo you are taking a stand Ooh, seven of swords in the center of the reading maybe there was some lies or deception okay the star the world the sun eight of cups all right let me just give my camera so you can maybe see it a little bit better i don't know why it's positioned like that sorry about that maybe that's helpful okay um let me look here the center of the reading is the seven of swords so somebody here is running away running running or sneaking away um there could be theft, betrayal, dishonesty as well. Somebody maybe is trying to lie about something or maybe they got caught and they're trying to lie about that. Um, you know what, Virgo? You know, usually the readings are awesome, but I'm seeing here you are sitting here with this Queen of Swords energy. Even though that's air, it can be Gemini, Mercury ruled. Um, but you're taking on the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is self-sufficient and a total B-I-T-C-H. You're in B-I-T-C-H mode. You're, you've got your sword drawn. You want the truth and you're speaking only the truth. And you're cutting through any kind of drama. Okay? This could be on the workplace, work front. This could be with a particular person. Um, this could be romantic take it as it resonates but i feel like you're in the position of making a decision here because i just see there's like some game playing going on here and you're making a decision now whether you want to cut something off remove yourself from a situation you know there could be people who are competing for your awesomeness right now and you're trying to weigh up who's the best contender for you. You're getting completely honest with yourself about what's around you at this time. Do you keep up with the drama, um, you know, or do you just let this continue or do you just like take a stand and balance yourself, stabilize and figure out what's the best option for you, okay? What's the best decision? But I'm gonna pull some clarifying cards on this, okay? I do feel like I don't see you making a decision. I just see you trying to weigh things out right now, weigh your options and figure out what you're gonna do here, okay? There's um, an element of indifference to love. There may be a surprise gift coming in for you. <clears throat> you may also be receiving um, a gigantic cup of love, which is the Ace of Cups. You've had other cups in the past, but uh, I don't know. They're not as big as this one. They weren't as big as this one. And this is coming in for you and doesn't I don't know it might be you sneaking away it might be you just saying no right now you're not sure you're you're just trying to get honest with yourself keep some truth here about what you what path you want to go what you want to do you're weighing your options here um, and the four of cups can represent feeling apathetic okay or feeling unfulfilled or just not sure if maybe a gift of love coming in is <clears throat> will be sustainable for you but it is the ace of cups now you know it could be somebody new maybe you're not ready um there's still some drama in your life you're trying to sort through and and just <clears throat> figure stuff out um or some type of gift somebody is trying to give you um 
that you may not want to take from somebody. It's interesting. I'm just hearing like an apology for something, an apology for perhaps some lies or deception. And, you know, it's almost like with the Four of Cups, I, I kind of get a sense where you're just like not even going to look at it. Um, it may be like unexpected. And you may just have nothing left here. No feelings about it anymore. Okay. But the world is here. So this is an energy of like, how with the old in with the new? So you're starting some kind of new, uh, new cycle here in your life. You're leaving something behind. I'm going to pull some clarifier cards and see what the energies are here. What's going on? Let's take a look at this five of wands. What is happening here? What was this drama? What is the five of wands? The eight of pentacles keeps showing up. This was for a lot of you a work thing or something that you were, you know, hoping that there was going to be more consistency and effort put in, but instead you got just more drama, just problems, um, <laughs> rivalry, obstacles, challenges. Okay. And I feel like you, I do feel like, um, for some of you, this could be like people competing for your attention and you're looking to see. It could be one or two people or just, you know, um, I don't know, a flock of seagulls landing on your car and it's like, get off. I can't, you know, only one of you can stay. But there's this energy of like, who's going to really put in the most effort as well? Who's going to work for your love? You know, who's going to show up is what I mean. Um, let's take a look at you, the Queen of Swords. Okay, the magician, yeah, you're like, listen, I'm trying to initiate things in my love life here. I want something new, a new beginning. You know, I'm looking for someone who has leadership, power, courage, willpower, is, you know, self-respecting, um, that kind of thing. And that's the truth, right? You're looking for, if you're a female, you're looking for your magic man. Okay, someone that can create and build and someone who puts all their cards on the table. Okay, that's Gemini energy. Um, and someone who just lays it all out there and comes in and says, look, this is what I'm all about and this is what I'm, this is what I'm willing to do and this is what I can do. Now let's take a look here. Oh, they're throwing two cards at us, but I wasn't asking. I do see the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords and I don't feel like that's on here. I feel like Spirit wants you to know um, I feel like the reason why you are in this position of trying to make a decision here is because there was a lot of, your self-esteem was rocked, perhaps by um, some cruelty or um, abusiveness at some point in your life or maybe with one particular person. And you're rebuilding your life here, okay? Um, so that Eight of Swords, somebody might have been like self-imposing, or imposing on you or maybe they were isolating you or it could be somebody is in prison and you're trying to break away from that um, and for others there's just this energy of like there was a lot of restrictions and you know it, it's like you are <laughs> I feel anger some of you there's an energy of anger um, either you don't want to be in an abusive situation anymore you're just trying to be more aware of whom you get involved in and that's what that could be why you're taking your time to make a decision um, because something really had you like trapped somewhere in your life and you, for some of you you are trying to heal let's take a look at the two of pentacles okay <laughs> knight of wands so you may have some you may are the knight of wands listen let me tell you something and I, say, I think I said this in one of my other readings. The Knight of Cups, if the Knight of Cups had a theme song, it would be Britney Spears, Oops, I Did It Again. It didn't mean to make you fall in love with me. And the Knight of Wands is kind of the same. I didn't mean to make you, you know, feel like if we were intimate together that that meant we were going to be together forever. Okay. And I feel like you're trying to be careful about getting, um, you're trying to be careful that you don't create any soul ties with people um, who are not going to stay for the long haul, okay? And that's why maybe there's somebody coming in or you're just 
kind of shuffling and trying to balance yourself with that two of pentacles um, you might have two choices or you're just weighing some options you know you're you're trying to be more uh, more aligned <clears throat> in yourself maybe you've had relationships in the past where you created physical soul ties with people and they wound up hurting you <coughs> sorry pollen is real bad here um but the Knight of Wands is not someone you need to be getting involved with because the Knight of Wands just kind of comes in with this lusty, free-spirited <coughs> sorry, energy. But he's always on a horse, and horses are always, they're meant to move. So he doesn't stick around. <coughs> Hold on. I know, I don't know about you guys. I'm up in the Northeast in the U.S. The pollen is so bad here. It's like inhaling shards of glass. <clears throat> Goodness. Okay. So let's take a look at this Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is like surprise, offer, love, apology coming in um, that you may not be even interested in at this time. Okay. Because you're kind of like, you know what you want. Why are you apathetic? Now it sits next to the Seven of Swords and I think it might have something to do. Maybe you've lost your hope or your faith. You're defensive. You've lost your hope. Um, not defensive. I'm sorry. You are just fearful that it's going to be more game playing. Okay, the Five of Wands again. That's twice. And when we get um, reoccurring cards, then that's a very strong message um, for you to take a look at. Um, is it that you've lost hope and faith? Not necessarily, but you're just not down with the games and when someone comes in you know to offer their love or give you something or that you know whatever it the first thought you have is is this person gonna hurt me is this person gonna cheat on me and i feel like that's an afterthought because the seven of wands is sitting or seven of swords is sitting here after the four of cups so you deny it and then you think i I think I'm denying it because I'm afraid that I'm going to get hurt or somebody's going to hurt me again. Are they going to cause drama or friction? Or maybe they were causing problems in the past or giving me a lot of challenges and putting obstacles, making it seem like they were always busy or they're always at work. They really just weren't being upfront um, or they just didn't have time for me because they were focused on other things in their life. And you are kind of like, I don't know if I want to take that chance. I don't know if I'm ready again. Why is the seven of swords here? Mm, page of swords wow the page of swords is you i'm gonna give it to you straight here virgo i mean you're very curious i feel like you're not trusting spirit you're not trusting god i feel like you may be self-sabotaging because you need to protect your heart and it's completely understandable why you would be in that energy. Um, but you're just very much on guard that that's going to happen again. You're very much like looking, you're curious, you're watching, you're, li you're asking questions, you're listening, trying to get information about anyone that comes in towards you. Um, you're just like, I want the truth, I want the truth, I want the truth. But the Page of Swords can be very immature. Um, and I feel like you might shut things down before they get started um, only because you were very hurt in the past and you were deceived, perhaps lied to. And it, and it was, if to you it felt extremely abusive and harsh and it had an effect on your mental health with that eight of swords okay so maybe you're just not ready this may not be a message for everybody okay some of you you know the messages were good but this feels like more truth and i feel like for you the world is here you're trying to make changes in your life okay the eight of wands is here wow some of you are going on a trip or a vacation or you just want to travel okay um but I do feel like there is somebody, it could be a Gemini coming into your life, could be a Libra, an Aquarius, could be a Leo, um, Scorpio, Taurus, so far. Um, it could be an Aries, 
Sagittarius. Whomever it is, I feel like this person is not going to give up. This person is that you may currently be involved with or they may be communicating to you from far away. There might be a lot of online communication on the web or on the internet or through apps or communication apps or something. Um, I don't feel like this person... Honestly, for some of you, this is somebody new. That's with the magician. That's a new beginning, a new start. This is somebody new coming in. And you're deflecting the Knight of Wands... You're being very um, smart, I see. But this love offer that's coming in, this is somebody new coming in and they want to talk and they want to communicate. It could be your past person as well. They know that you don't, you're not trusting them in a particular area and they want to talk to you. So uh, they could be sending messages or talking about they want to come see you or travel to you or get together with you. They want to communicate, phone calls, text messages, what have you. They ha they're bringing good news. Hold on. So they could be buying you a ticket. <laughs> Maybe they want to travel somewhere together. Wow. The five of cups is per. Yeah. Okay. Virgo, I feel like you ended something at some point with someone. And they're really regretful and remorseful for something that they've done in the past. Now, I do feel there's somebody new coming in as well. So it's kind of a double en energy here. And, and that's why I felt like you've got this two of pentacles. So that's why you may be weighing your options. Do you go with the new or do you retreat back to the past? I don't feel like you could retreat back to the past. Not at this time. I don't see you being ready, but I also don't see you being ready for somebody new either because you're just kind of like standing guard and protecting your heart. You really went through something with someone. That could have been a long period of time. It could have been a short period of time. But lying to a Virgo, look, you have your boundaries up. You are completely guarded at this time here, protecting yourself. Okay, keeping and maintaining those boundaries. You're being very persistent. Nobody's getting in. You're not ready for that just yet. So the sun is here. Why is the sun here? There's, posit there's positivity. The sun and the star. What's going on here? Why is the sun here? This is joy. Oh, it's freedom. There's something here. Maybe you're going to be spending some time in the sun or going some kind of getaway or something. The sun is very healing. Okay. Uh, there's like a joyous outcome or success happening here for you. Oh my goodness. The Ten of Cups. How did we get there? You get your hope back. That's what it is. I don't feel like even this is for today. Just remember... You know, I upload these messages daily, but this could occur at any time. And it, if it resonates for you, great. If not, maybe yesterday's will. You know your message. But I feel like you get closure from someone from the past that you've wanted. Are you going back to them? I don't, I don't know. I don't really, I don't know. Are you going to start something else with someone new? I, I'm not picking up a yes in either direction. And I'm not picking up a no in either direction. I'm picking up you becoming happy and joyful again in your life. And a renewed sense of hope. Now this star can be a card of renewal. Is it renewing a past relationship? It could be. It's completely up to you. Um, this is a card of healing. Can there be healing in this connection? I suppose if you want it, you know, um, are you ready for that right now? No. Are you going to chase down closure? No. I feel like it's going to come to you. But there's a sense of renewed hope here. And the Eight of Cups, for some of you, you're walking away for a little while. Like It's like, thank you for the apology and the, the closure. And thank you for offering to want to, you know, see where something goes with the new person. Um, I feel like you're going to decline invitations right now 
for both, some of you, because you're on some kind of a spiritual journey, okay? You are like, I'm withdrawing, I'm retreating, I'm moving on, you know, um, I'm abandoning everything right now because I just don't know, I can't make a decision, I'm not sure where I'm at, I'm not ready. And for others, you're going to take a journey and it feels like someone who's coming in to give you closure and apologize. And I feel like there's going to be a restored sense of hope with them. And with the Ten of Cups, total love and support, happiness. So, you know, listen, just because the cards are saying this, it doesn't mean you have to do anything. You have to trust your intuition. You have to tr trust your judgment and your own free will, right? I'm just giving here the messages and telling you what I'm seeing. What you choose to do is, is up to you. So please don't leave me a comment, you know, that you're angry because I know and I would never tell anyone to go back and do anything if that's not what they wanted to do. You are the master of your own fate. I'm just the messenger here. So let's get a couple of cards from um, the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Let's see what your messages are here. Okay. Wow. You have the Eight of Cups again. The need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, leaving home. Okay, that's, and as I said earlier, when repeating cards show up, uh, there's a sign, and these are eights, which represent power, authority, strength, organization, control, and materialism. Taking your power back, okay? If you decide to leave, you're taking your power back um, in the sense where you are going to... Um, be uplifted and ascending if you decide to stay with this person i still feel like you're going to take your power back anyway i forgot i wanted to pull clarifying card for the star okay the three of swords came out in reverse so that's healing there is a renewal there is a healing of a broken heart um this is these are both healing cards okay um this is fresh hope with the star um this is clarity. Miracle. For some of you, this is a freaking miracle that somebody's coming back around, like with truth. Some of you might be in the spotlight, but the Three of Swords here, 100% is an apology, and there's a recovery after some kind of a loss, um, and there's physical healing for some of you as well. I, I'm hearing, get out in the sun, vitamin D, vitamin D, vitamin D, vitamin D. That will help. Okay, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, okay, that's a message for some of you who are walking away from this for a little while because you can't commit and you can't make a decision right now, okay? For sure. And for others who are going to make the decision to accept someone back in your life where there was problems, you may accept them back, but you may say, okay, thank you. We'll see how things go, but I'm not committing to anything because there was a breach of trust. All right, let me get another angel wisdom message. All right. Balance. Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise. The power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. That's Sagittarius energy. You also have, ooh, the Ace of Fire, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. And you also have the King of Cups, trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor seeking a, or seeing a counselor. Okay, King of Cups, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then we have pretty much all the signs here, so I'm just going to, oh, I just saw Ego down here at the bottom. The illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation, and then make choices that support your path to happiness, addictions, or unhealthy habits. That's the devil, and this is Capricorn energy. Okay, um, 
So those are your messages, Virgo. Um, I switched up the cards. I wanted to do the angel wisdom. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful uh, day. If you want to check out my other channel, I do the charms on my Moon Pie Tarot channel. So, oh, I just saw a gem, a white gem, a white diamond. Some of you are getting an engagement ring or there's a connection with a, a Gemini. All right. And that's a sample of my charms, but they're on my other channel. They're lots of fun. I will see you guys very soon. Take care.